Welcome and or welcome back to my channel. I'm Hannah Blackwell and today I'm going to be sharing with you my cozy winter TBR. I'm going to be having this in two parts. Part one is going to be all of the romance that I think is very like winter themed that I want to read in winter time. Does that mean I'm going to read these all this winter? No, but these are all like winter and holiday themed books that I really want to get to that are romance themed that I would like to read. A lot of these I am planning on reading this winter. Some of them... I don't know. We'll have to see if I can get to them. Also, I apologize. My shelves are not yet decorated. That's because if you already know and follow me on like the hideaway or follow like my Instagram posts and stuff, I am redecorating our playroom. I'm remodeling that into our library and that is still in the works. We have the shelves, like we're building sh built-ins and everything in there too. So it's a whole long process. And it's going to be like all my books are going to be transferred in there in the next two, two and a half weeks. And then I will be trying to do some decorating on my bookshelves then because I am doing some bulk filming. My shelves are not yet decorated, but I'm excited for my new shelves. I'm excited to show you guys the new library. It's going to be really, really nice. And if you want to comment something down below, comment and let me know which one of these books you've read, if you've read any of these, or which ones you think you might want to read. All my social media is down in the description. In case you want to follow me on any of my social media, like Instagram or Goodreads, I've got my Etsy shop down below where I sell bookish and seasonal bookmarks, as well as my Patreon. Okay, so today we're going to be going through my romance books that I'm very excited to read this winter or in an upcoming winter season. Kind of nice now that I have a camera that I can actually like look at this stuff on my phone. So the first book that I'm very excited to be picking up, and I will be picking this up this winter, actually I will be picking this up in November, and that is Dear Monster Claus by Maeve Black. This is a romance between Cupid and Santa Claus, and it's a monster romance. I think it's a novella, and I think it's gonna be very, very, very cute. It's just giving cozy monster. I love cozy monster romance. I am playing around with that concept myself. That's all I will say. I just love cozy monster romances and cozy fantasy romances. I just, I love it. It literally meshes up my two favorite genres and this looks really cute. And uh, I, it looks like Santa Claus might be a demon of sorts, but I'm not sure. Yeah, we're gonna be reading this for my patron. There's a Miriana monthly book club that I run on my Patreon. My top two tiers get to vote for the monthly book club pick. The top three tiers all get to participate on the Discord. And yeah, it's a lot of fun. We do sprints and uh, this is our pick for November. Okay, so the next one I have is A Kingdom of Frost and Malice by Ashley McLeo. This one looks really cool. So we have this blood slave and so she is a blood slave to vampires, I believe, and she escapes and she basically escapes right into the hands of a king of like the Winter Fey. And so she becomes a courtier and then this becomes a fake dating scenario. He needs a fake fiance and she's perfect. So they make a deal. So I guess he's actually like a warden of the Winter Fae and then she's gonna help him trick the Winter King into believing that she is his fiance. And in exchange, he's gonna hide her from the vampires. But it looks like there's another Fae that gets interested in her and I think it becomes a love triangle situation. I haven't read a love triangle in a while and I'm kind of interested in that. But yeah, this looks like super icy and cold and super atmospheric. I think it's gonna be fun. Okay, the next book I have here is Cinta by Honey Phillips. This is like a whole series and each book is written by different authors. I tried Frost by a different author in this and I just didn't, wasn't a huge fan, but Honey Phillips can write and I really enjoy her writing. And I've been really into alien romance lately. I've got a couple of alien romance, like wintry alien romances on my TBR. And this looks really good. It says Cinta is coming to town, but this time he's the one receiving a gift. Our heron's name is Holly, of course. And I guess that her winter plans have been canceled. Her parents are gonna spend time together and she's inherited this cabin. It's a remote cabin and she's gonna spend her holidays by herself in this mountain cabin where there's like no electricity or cell service. Cinta is an alien who is on this observation trip and something has gone terribly wrong and his ship's systems have gone haywire. The freezing temperatures have really messed with it, I guess. The freezing temperatures have thrown his body into like survival mode and it looks like he might have been thrown into a mating frenzy when he sees our heroine. I love it. I love it. <laughs> So Honey and Phillips, I think, writes really cozy, cute alien romances. 
And I love, like I said, the cozy fantasy romance. And the same goes for a cozy alien romance. I really liked the first book that I read in her Seven Brides for Seven Alien Brothers series. I like the first book in that. And I want to continue on in that series too. But this one looks really, really fun. The next book I have is another Honey Phillips book. And this is called Krampus and the Crone. It says, can a horned alien warrior and an isolated woman grant two children their holiday wish for a family? So our heroine is posing as a witch making herbal remedies. She's been ostracized from her village. The children have started disappearing from her village and she wants to find the answer. She wants to find out what's going on. Our hero, Commander Krampusarian Marchander, I don't know okay um he has crash landed on her planet and he decides he has to protect her because the villagers are treating her like crap basically once again i'm hoping for sweet and steamy cozy cute and spicy like honey phillips can offer and often does i think this is gonna be a really good time okay next i have a book by ursa dax it's called chimera for christmas i heard about this from ava from ava's romance books and she said it was very cute um, this is a cozy holiday romance about a chimera. Obviously, it's a monster romance. And I think it's like human with a monster. And it says you're supposed to spend Christmas with the person you love the most. But what if that person turns out to be the biggest, grumpiest alien you've ever met? From what I remember, they somehow meet in the shower. I'm not sure how that happens, but... And I think these are two are like co-workers at this inn. So our heroine basically gets a job at this commerce station and she's trying to make a little bit of seasonal money through the holidays and she meets her co-worker who is this chimera he's really tall apparently with black horns and heated yellow eyes he's super super grumpy and the more they work together the more they fall in love i think this is gonna be so sweet i'm excited i want to read a monster romance for christmas i just do monster romances are not just for fall i read monster romances year round and i especially think they could be really cute when it comes to wintry or holiday romances okay next i have frostbitten it's a steamy jack frost retelling by violet taylor this is the same author as scream for the scarecrow and i really really enjoyed that halloween scarecrow monster romance that was a fun time so i figured why not give her jack frost retelling a try to so I guess this is an erotic dark romance. It's a monster short. It's about Jack Frost and it's a Hades and Persephone retelling or a Hades and Persephone reimagining about, about Jack Frost. So Mara finds herself at, in this cave in these wastelands somehow. I'm not sure. But yeah, in these wastelands of the underworld, it's really frozen and cold. And there is a monster there, Jack Frost, and he craves warmth and he craves her flesh. I think this is supposed to be super steamy. I don't think it's super long. Basically very much like wintry monster erotica and I'm down for it. Make sure you check her trigger warnings because I think a lot of her books are quite dark. Okay next I have two books by Layla Fay. The first one and they're both from the same series. The first is Wed to the Ice Giant and this is the first book in this series. I have read the orc one and I really enjoyed that um, and I think that was by her as well. And this one is only 100 pages and in this series these women are basically signing up to be mated and married to these monsters in this world and I think the monsters are like the higher class in the society but it's all consensual and willing. This some kind of like algorithm basically puts the two together and says like okay they're gonna be perfect for each other. So the hero is the king of the ice giants and he really wants heirs. And yeah, I guess he finds his match through the service and there is a steamy, spicy, hopefully sweet romance too. I've heard good things about this one from Ava as well. Like I said, I really liked Layla Faye's other book in this series. So I think this should be good. Um, and I'm hoping it's super icy and cold and like chilly and I hope it gives those vibes I'm looking for. And then she has um, another book coming out in this series on December 6th and it's called Wed to Jack Frost. I don't know anything about this one but it's another Jack Frost retelling and it's by Layla Fay. I'm intrigued. Um, I'm looking at some of the other ones coming up in this series. Uh, there's a Krampus one too. Yeah, I really want to read more from this series. They're not all by Layla Faye, but she does have three, I believe. Another fantasy romance that I have here is North Queen by Nicola Tiche. 
This one is supposed to be wintry and cold, but it is about this girl who is a princess. She's being hidden away because there's this evil king that they're at war with. But when her father dies, no one knows where to find her. And she appears three years later without her memory. She especially doesn't even remember her boyfriend, um, who is like the commander of the army. So things are quite complicated. And she's supposed to be like ruling and helping rule this kingdom, obviously, but that makes it a little bit difficult. And I think this is supposed to be icy and cold. I mean, it's called North Queen, North Queen and the cover is super icy. So I'm hoping it gives those wintry vibes. So I have some historical romances that I do want to read, but I think I might do a different one, like a different like historical romance TBR. I'm not sure. I don't know. But this one is called, this is a romantic suspense historical, like a gothic historical romantic suspense. And it's called Snowfire by Phyllis A. Whitney. And this cover is absolutely everything. If I'm going to read a suspense in the winter, I think it has to be this one, right? Um, and it says it's a gripping new novel about love and danger. Phyllis Whitney spins into magnificent focus the icy weather and fiery passions of a chic eastern ski resort. Um, the slopes are fine, but for Linda Earle, who hasn't come to Greystones for winter sport, the atmosphere is terrifying. Seeking to clear her brother of a murder charge, Linda finds her search for the truth hampered by her attraction to the mysterious Julian McCabe. It was Julian's wife who had been murdered and now Linda's presence has aroused new terrors. Is Linda going to be the next victim? Ooh, that looks good. And like, like I said, this cover absolutely stunning. And finally, I have the second book in the Gathering of Dragons series by Mila Vane, A Touch of Snow and, or I'm sorry, A Touch of Stone and Snow. So I read the first book in this series, really, really enjoyed it. This follows a different couple. And it's a very medieval um, inspired fantasy romance series. Each book follows a different couple. And there's this danger basically coming for them. And I don't want to spoil anything. Uh, but I think this is also going to be an enemies to lovers, just like the first book. And I thought that the, the first one did a really good job with the whole enemies to lovers trope. But I don't know. Oh, okay. This one is not enemies to lovers. This one's second chance. Well, they were childhood friends. But yeah, maybe they are a little bit of enemies. It says, though they were childhood friends, Eric's cannot allow himself to be close to the only woman who might thwart his treacherous plan to save their island realm. Interesting. Okay. So it sounds like maybe a forbidden love, childhood friends to lovers, a little bit of like enemies, not enemies, but maybe like rivals to lovers. I don't know. I'm interested to find out though. I think it's going to be very snowy and cold and medieval and I think it's gonna be a really good one. The first book is very atmospheric. I'm hoping this one's super atmospheric as well. So there you have it. Those are some of the winter romances that are on my TBR. Some winter romances that I would like to read this winter or some romances that I think in general will be very good for winter and I eventually want to read them hopefully in a winter season. Let me know if there's any books on here that you think I should prioritize. Comment that down below. If you don't know what else to comment, you can comment a snowflake emoji. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, fellow readers, keep reading and living your best life. Do you?